Well, Luba is uh, hugely important for our understanding of mammoths and their world in the Ice Age. Uh, she is the most complete mammoth carcass ever discovered and uh, because she's been found very recently we've been able to apply a whole load of scientific methods uh, that have never before been used on these frozen carcasses. Well, for example, uh, during the autopsy of Luba they were able to recover remains of her mother's milk in her stomach and through sectioning of her teeth and microscopic examination we've learned that she was exactly 35 days old when she died because you can count daily growth lines. Um, you could look at her teeth and see that she was not using them yet and however in the gut there was also some plant remains so we think this means that she was eating her mother's dung in order to get the bacteria uh, that she would have needed to digest her plant food had she lived uh, to grow into an adult. This is the first time that our audience here in the UK is able to witness uh, a complete baby mammoth uh, and understand all the science. It's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's, it's a first for us. Oh, I'm sure there's much still to learn. For example, uh, work on DNA is still ongoing. Uh, we're starting to learn a lot about mammoth uh, adaptations uh, and their appearance uh, just from studying the DNA um, of, of their tissues. Uh, so for example we've learned from the DNA that mammoths were not orange in colour as people usually believe because of the colour of the hair as it is recovered. Um, but the DNA shows that the original colour was probably a brown or dark brown colour and that it's just lost its pigment. Uh, during long burial. This is just the first of many uh, examples of what we're probably going to learn. The DNA that we recover is very uh, fragmented. It's uh, been uh, affected by the, by the long time that the animal has been buried. So I think the way to move forward with the DNA is to extract individual genes and learn from them about the biology and the appearance of the animal. Um, but it's too incomplete to clone a mammoth and there are all sorts of other technical, possibly also ethical issues uh, relating to that. So I'm not a supporter of that idea. Well, in the exhibition we, we have a new film uh, which we made uh, which describes new research which we've done through an, a long program of radiocarbon dating. Uh, and from that we're learning that uh, the mammoth's range began to contract and contract and contract exactly as the climate uh, altered the vegetation so that the grassland habitat that the mammoth inhabited was replaced by forests and we think that that effect reduced the mammoth's range enormously and led ultimately to their extinction possibly aided by hunting by people uh, as a contributing factor. So I think it was the combined pressure of climate change and hunting uh, that caused the extinction of the mammoth.